Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a closer look at a small but very interesting piece of audio equipment. This little circuit board is called a preamp tone control module. Even though it looks simple, it actually plays an important role in shaping and trolling sound before it gets amplified by your main power, amplifier. In this video, we'll walk step by step through what this board does, the different parts labeled on it, and how it works in a sound system. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of why this kind of module is useful and how people normally set it up. The very first thing this board needs is power. On the left hand side, there's a connection for a DC 12 volt input. You'll see two terminals there. One is marked positivity, other is marked negative. This is where the board receives its energy. Without this, the circuit won't function. It's important to note that this is direct current, or DC power. A simple 12 volt adapter is usually enough to power the board. Moving over to the right side of the board, you'll find the audio input section. This is where your sound source connects. There are three small terminals here. The right channel input the ground connection and the left channel input this setup means you can feed a stereo signal into the module. So if you're playing music from your phone, your computer, or even a music player, this is the point where that signal enters. It's kind of like opening the door to let the music in. Once the so. Now, let's look at the output section, which is at the top center of the board. This part is labeled low frequency output. It has two terminals, one for output signal and one for ground. This is the connection that carries the processed sound out of the preamp module. From here, the signal is sent directly into your power amplifier. Think of this like a filter. Your audio comes in, gets shaped, and then leaves this board ready to be amplified and played through your speakers. One of the most useful features of this little board is the two control knobs at the front. The first one is labeled Frequency Control. This knob lets you adjust the lower frequencies of your audio. In other words, it controls the bass. Turning the knob can make the bass sound deeper, heavier, or softer depending on what you prefer. If you love music styles like rock, hip-hop, or EDM, this knob will definitely come in handy. The second knob is labeled volume control, just like the name S. So, why would someone use a preempt tone control like this? Well, here are a few reasons. It allows you to fine-tune your sound before it reaches the main amplifier. You can emphasize bass frequencies, which makes music feel more powerful. You can balance left and right input channels with the ground connection for cleaner audio. And overall, it adds flexibility to any DII sound system. This board is very popular among hobbyists and DII audio enthusiasts because it's affordable, simple, a eh? One of the most useful features of this little board is the two control knobs at the front. You'll often see this kind of preamp used in small home sound systems. For example, a DII speaker box project adding bass control to a desktop sedupper, experimenting with audio electronics as a hobby it's not designed for large concert systems of course, but for personal projects, testing and learning how audio circuits work, it's a perfect little tool. All right, let's wrap things up. This preamp tone control module may look simple, but it gives you three important things. A way to supply clean 12 volt DC power to the board away to bring in stereo audio through the left and right inputs away to shape your sound using the frequency and volume knobs before sending it out to your amplifier. In other words, it's like a small gatekeeper for your music. It receives the sound, lets you adjust it, and then passes it on. And that's it for today's overview. I hope you enjoyed learning about this little audio circuit. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure to like, subscribe, 
and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.